Hi, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit different because one, it's a unique concept, but two, because I'm going to be moving around courting things, I've got my mic clipped to a boot, which is on top of my clothing hamper. <laughs> you know, we're working with things because I only have a lav mic and I'm pretty sure that this mic is going to be better than the mic in the phone? I don't know, we'll figure it out. So, I recently got this necklace from Moonland Resin Shop, and by recently I mean like 20 minutes ago, and I want to cord it, and I was thinking about cording it three different ways for the video. Also, sorry that I'm wearing loungewear. I've been lounging. I'll clip to me wearing the cords, probably that I film tomorrow, but here is the necklace. It's got this beautiful blue-gray color with this cameo of three women. I think it's probably the three graces. It's got a little dangling charm with a matching color. It's got these cool, like, hexagonal 3D uh, glass gems. I think they're actually uh, plastic, but they're meant to look like glass. It's just beautiful, like, uh, metal pieces on the beads, I guess. And it, it's just gorgeous. It's a beautiful color, beautiful concept. I love it. And I already know at least one main piece that I want to wear with this dress. So I'm going to put this down for a second. I'm going to grab our first main piece to cord. This is the first main piece that I wanted to cord with the necklace. This is the piece that I got the necklace to actually go with. Because if you look closely on the print, there is this lovely blue slate gray blue color. And, um,. It matches like a charm, and I love it. Of course, the necklace is shinier and a little bit more saturated, but not by much from these lighter blue beads. So I think it'll work very lovely together. So this is our first main piece. This is an OP, so I don't technically need to wear a blouse with it. I might still choose to wear one, it depends. But this is concept number one. The next thing that I think that this piece needs is a hair piece. And this necklace is a bit OTT, so maybe we should go a little OTT with it. And I also have this headdress, which has got these beautiful dark grayish blue eyes. Can you see what I'm going for? Is matching this dress with dark grayish blue. And that's what we're doing. Next, I'm going to let you know now, I'm going to be wearing my black uh, cotton candy feet shoes. I'll show them, but they're on the rack down here. I'm not going to try to bounce them on there if I'm talking about it in the video. I've got these trim ribbon shoes from Cotton Candy Feet. I have them, I guess, like six months or so, something like that. I've had them for a couple months now. They're getting a little bit worn on the bottom, but um, other than that, holding up real well. The only black, really nice Lolita shoes I have. I've got other non-Lolita shoes that I can kind of work with, but these, these are the try and true. Next, socks. We're going for OTT, so printed socks. These socks are the Magical Artifact OTKs in black, and if you look carefully, the writing on them is gray. Wow, it, it's like my wardrobe is somewhat cohesive or something. I'm just gonna tuck these behind there and then we'll move on to the next element. I'm thinking I don't want a blouse or a cardigan because it's summer and, um, I don't know, summer cord, something like that. So I'm gonna find my black wrist cuffs and we're gonna put that with this. I got my nice little black wrist cuffs from Peacock Room. They're plain black, but they've got a little um, black and gray bead chain and a little uh, gold star charm on them. I don't have other black wrist cuffs, so this is the only choice right now if I wanted to have black wrist cuffs, which I do. So, here you go. So, I'm probably going to pair this with my spellbook purse. It's generally smaller than my cotton candy feet bat purse, and I don't really have, like, much bats going on. I guess I'll get out both and we can look. These are the purse options. This one actually doesn't have a blue on it, but it does have a silver, so it kind of looks nice. Um. 
since it's silver and gold, this purse pretty much goes with anything that I wear with black because I either pair it with silver or with gold. The necklace has kind of like a bronzy goldish color on it, but the tights have silver and bronze and gold. The dress has that bluish gray color and gold. This bag only has silver fastenings. It's got a little bat a bow on it. It's cute. Right now it's set as a crossbody instead of a book bag. But part of me just says the spell purse. I'm already going with the magical tights. And I've... OTT, we gotta go for the printed book bag. It's the only way. I got out my accessory thing. Lately I've actually been keeping it in a drawer in my dresser. And then we go back for inspo on the necklace. It's this lovely bluish gray color with silver fastenings, white charms. Those are the colors we're looking to complement. I've got this new blue and silver. It's like a royal, dark royal color. Um, I think it's a little too saturated to go with this particular necklace, but it's still a nice option to keep in the background. I do think that this plain black bracelet is just gonna go great with it, so. Okay, I've narrowed down earrings to three different pairs. One of them started to get tarnished, oops. Hmm. Oh well. Um, the three pairs. One of which is a blue color. It's just a little blue stud. It's kind of hard to see because of the lights, but it's this nice pale blue color. Not a bluish gray, but it is a nice pale blue. Next, we've got my tarot earrings, the little hand from Sweet Mildred. They're cute. They go with the um the theme of the dress mostly. They're just silver. So they're not going to clash too much, but they don't add to the silver blue fantasy that much. And the last one. This one is going to go off of the gold in the dress and the necklace. It's just little uh, clear teardrops with a gold faceting, faceting? fitting around them. I'm not that familiar with jewelry terms, but they're just nice little clear and gold dangly teardrop earrings. So I'm going to compare, take one earring from each pair. I've chosen the blue studs. I think that they look the nicest with the necklace and that's what I want to do today. So I'm going to add in a little black rose ring that I've got. And I think that that's going to be the cord. Um, the last thing that we would have to choose from would be hair. Um, I don't have any blue wigs of this shade of blue, and I don't think the blue wig that I would have, since it's, um, it's a Ramona Flowers cosplay wig, would really fit this, because it's vibrant, like, almost cyan blue, and it's got uh, micro bangs and two long pieces in the front, and it's really like, short cropped in the back. I don't think it's going to go with this. Um, I'll probably end up just pairing it with a basic wig that I'll wear for all the coordinates, probably my brown, um, wig that's about this long. <laughs> it's kind of floofy on the sides. It's probably gonna be that wig. I like that wig. It's called a parable wig or something. I don't know. I like that wig though. So here's cord one. There's a few minor changes I made. I ended up deciding on wearing this little short black wig. And I also wanted to add in my overskirt from Sweet Mildred. I just felt like since it's an OP without having a blouse, it was kind of missing something. Also, don't mind my OTKs. I didn't feel like gluing my socks to my body or putting on a garter belt just to film the video, so they're rolling down a little bit. It It's not the best, but you know, you work with what you feel like doing in the moment, and ain't nobody got time for wearing a garter belt for just filming a video in their room. Unless that's their job. If that's their job, go ahead, but I don't get paid for this, and I didn't feel like putting on one, so I didn't. That's cord one. The next dress I want to pair it with is my Rome JSK from Ake Edge Designs because these ladies remind me of like the graces of the muses, the figures in Greek mythology that inspire all the poetry and all that. This is just like three ladies dancing around in flowy dresses. It's like um, more like a toga dress, not like a ballroom dress. And the colors, they go. So this is what we're doing. This is a dress K, however. So, we're gonna have to pizzazz it up a little bit. And by pizzazz it up a little bit, I mean wear a blast, because we're not heathens. 
because the necklace is so OTT, I'm planning on doing this one as an OTT classic chord compared to the OTT gothic one we just did. So I pulled out my uh, Lady Sloth blouse because it's like the most extra blouse I've gotten, so you know. <laughs> if it fits in the core, why not put it in? My only concern is the laces don't match. But then again, this one doesn't have that extravagant of lace anyway. So I don't think that it's going to really clash unless you're really looking at the lace. Okay, that blouse does not like sitting on hangers, at least the ones I've got. So I usually just fold it over the bar. I've tried to hang it up so you can kind of get the vibes, but it's not sitting that beautifully right now. We're working with it. Okay. Okay, I've pulled out the only actual Lolita pair of white socks I've got. And yeah, they're stained to hell and not doing so hot, but it's what we're working with right now until I get a new pair of socks. Or maybe two. While I don't really want to repeat items between the cords um, that I'm doing today, I'm probably just going to pair the same exact shoes with this one because I don't have white shoes yet and I doubt that my cream colored shoes are going to really fit. And I don't have any other better shoes to wear with something like this, unless I just want to wear normal purse and normal heels, and ew. You know? Not with an OTT cord. <laughs> we need the bows. The bows are a necessity for OTT. I know it's a cliche at this point that I always wear a very particular headpiece with this dress, even though it doesn't actually match. But we're doing it again. My leaf crown headdress belongs with this dress and it always will. <laughs> I just get so many Roman Imperator vibes from this combination. And I'm going to continue to do it, just so you're aware. Since I'm adding green in the head, I'm going to add a green ring and a green bracelet. I've got another green ring that I'm going to have to sift through. Another green ring. This one's just a little rose. I think we're starting to look good. Now, another thing that I'm not sure if I want to copy over from every cord, um, this bracelet, this blue and silver one, well, it didn't go with the uh, last one. It might go with this one, but it might end up going with the next cord, because I've already got, like, ideas, you know? So, bear with me. This bracelet may or may not be in this cord. Because I've kind of got a royalty theme going on with this one, um, at least in my brain I do, I'm, I picked out these little earrings that have a little black back, gold uh, crowns on them, and a little line of pearls around them. I just kind of wanted to like pull out that crown idea. It's gold, so it matches. It's got the white pearls. The black is a little bit weird, but this navy in here is actually quite dark. So I don't think it will be that much of a problem. So that's chord number two. And chord number three, I think we've got an idea. So here is the second chord. I actually lied about using the same wig for all of the outfits. I decided to be a little more uh, creative with it, mostly because I decided to not film them all on the same day. But here it is. I also decided to add this little sash that I have from Lady Sloth that came with my tea time at Grandma's as like a belt. I thought it added some sort of like regal vibe added to the look a little bit. This is probably my least favorite of the cords, but it's okay. I think that this skirt is just a little extra long for my petticoat, and so I kind of need to come up with a better solution. It just kind of makes the silhouette look weird to me. But that's also personal preference, because I like lots of poof. Um, I'm also just really not sure about this wig. I tried to alter it to make it have like roots to make it seem a little more natural, but I still think it's a bit too warm for my skin tone on me personally. But um, otherwise, I think that the blue with the green is an interesting touch. I'm glad that I anchored it with white though, because one, I don't have enough blue or green to make that work otherwise, and two, it just helps to blend it a little bit better. This one's gonna be a little bit weird, a little bit funky. Also, for the last one, I didn't put uh, wrist cuffs on it. I might end up adding white wrist cuffs to it if I feel like it needs it, but the blouse is a bit extra on its own, so I'm not sure yet. But, let's add our handy dandy necklace to this skirt. 
the skirt's a bit of a darker teal color compared to the necklace itself, but I think we can make it work. Even though I'm trying to do a more summery lookbook with these three cords, the last blouse is already pretty warm for being a chiffon blouse. And so I'm thinking about one of these two blouses. Um, they're my bishop sleeve blouses that I got off Devil Inspired. Probably the black one with it? I'm not exactly sure yet. But, let me go see if there's anything else that I think would be slightly more summer appropriate and still fit the vibe that I'm thinking about. Okay, the vibe might be a little bit weird, but I actually just got out this ivory bolero out of my closet and I got a black plain tank top from my normie wardrobe. And I think that that's gonna be the vibe. Now, should you probably not wear a tank top with Lolita? Sure. I am using it more of an under blouse. This is the real thing that's going to be my blouse in Lolita, but since I can't be scandalous and be showing midriff in my Lolita coordinate, we've got a little bit of a modesty camisole. Sorry if this offends you. It's my Lolita channel, and I'm doing what I want. This is what I want to do right now. So, we got our skirt, we got our blouse, I don't, I don't know, necklace. What's next? <laughs> I'd be remiss to not use these teardrops now, because you might smell. So this one I'm going for more of like an academic, um, debutante vibe of, I don't know, the, the rich, proper 1920s girl going to fight Cthulhu monsters. The cursed amulet. I don't know. It's a vibe. It's a weird vibe. But our vibes here are fresh. They're new. They're fun. They're fancy. And they're free. If we're fighting Cthulhu, we might as well have an image of him in his honor. I'm not exactly sure where I want to put it though. I just put Kasulu on the collar here. He might end up somewhere else when I actually physically have the cord on my body, but that is a topic for tomorrow's see, or maybe later this week's see, because this is three cords, and um, I don't know. We're working through it. We're working through it. I think this is the place for the blue and silver and my white pearl bracelets. I realized I haven't come up with a headpiece yet, so I'm going to choose this ivory side headbow from Sweet Mildred. I just think that it would complement the ivory tones throughout the cord so far. I also think that this gives off rich girl vibes. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, not really a rich girl, so how do I know? Especially a rich 1920s girl who's investigating Cthulhu. I only wish. <laughs> then again, maybe I don't wish because like, I'm bi. That sounds awful in the 1920s. Also, um... I don't actually want to fight Cthulhu in real life. It's great to do in video games and tabletop games and board games to read about. I've got a fear of sea monsters. That's why I find Cthulhu so interesting. That'd be horrifying. Like, I'm scared of whales. <laughs> Giant squid monster? No, that's awful. That's awful. I hate that. Not fighting Cthulhu in real life. Okay, I've got some options for socks. The first one is probably not going to be it. It's my Ouija board socks. I think that these are going to kind of look weird with it because of how, like, pop arty they are. And they also don't fit me that well, so I can't really wear them as under-the-knee socks because they just squish my calf in such a weird way. Um, not plus-size friendly approved. They're not Lolita. I got them at a uh, Halloween store, but, you know... They're cute. I should probably just put them in my normie wardrobe. I thought that they would be like under the knee socks because how long they were. But uh, they ain't stretchy. <laughs> yeah. Like they're tied around my arm, let alone my leg. Nonetheless, we will look. No. <laughs> you know what? These socks are going in the normie wardrobe. I can't make them work in any coordinates. I've, I've made them work once and they looked awful because they were too skinny on my leg. Next, we've got my Magical Artifact tights from Metamorphose. Well, they're OTKs, but um... I think it could bring the vibes. I just think that the print is just the tiniest bit off. 
The color match is almost perfect, though. And then we've got the same exact pair of uh, socks as the white ones, except for these ones are in ivory and holding up slightly better because I've got more ivory tights to choose from, so they're not as worn in. Um, they could work. I just think the metamorphosed tights are probably the best bet. Like, even with the necklace, this has got, like, uh, blue gems in it, even if the text on this one is taupe. Next, I think that I would actually pair these with my cream cotton candy feet shoes. They're exactly the same as my black ones, except for cream and shiny. Also, slightly less worn in, though still worn, um, because the black ones are just a little bit more versatile than the cream, according to my wardrobe. And add whatever wig. I'm going to probably add my cream cotton candy feet frill academy bag. It's the same one as the black bat bag I showed you, except for the bat is just replaced by a normal bow. Same thing. I think it would look gorgeous with this. It brings out that nice, like, young, hip, 20, 1920s debutante vibes a little bit. I don't know. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Like, early 20s, not late 20s, not flapper. We're thinking, like, girl in the town just got the right to vote, you know? Just me? I don't know. But, third chord. And here is the final chord, but actually the first one that I wore and filmed because I decided to wear it to hang out with my boyfriend. So, if you can't tell, this one's probably my favorite. Not to make the other ones seem worse, I just think that this one, since it blends a bunch of my favorite aspects together, is my favorite. I think it's actually a bit casual compared to the others as well, because I was going for a more OTT look with those, but that doesn't mean that this one's all that casual. As you can see by my bare knees, I also didn't feel like wearing a garter belt with these socks, one of my biggest pet peeves with them, but oh well, you live and let live, I guess. And thank you all so much for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Goodbye. Which one's your favorite? Let me know.